hello everyone welcome to the second part of this design and in this one i'm going to color this design and it takes a lot of lot of time to color this kind of graphics there is too many details here so first step is i am going to pick the colors so these are two examples that i found good and i am going to make my design in this color combination so i, I created a shape here and then with eyedropper tool i am going to pick these colors and then I will use these colors in my design so that is good I think these two are very similar to each other anyway so that is not important so with these shapes if I add them in this source panel with a group I'm going to get them here so I don't need these shapes anymore so let's erase them and for this area this design this is the previous state of the design where I left I need to expand everything so make sure that keep expanding and make sure that there is no live effect or a stroke a stroke left in your design and then you can simply start the coloring process now at some point you can see i am expanding them but the stroke is not being empty that is because there may be some empty stroke or something so you can simply select this and then make it none and if you, you have to make sure that there is nothing changing in the design so while doing this keep an eye here to see that if it is changing anything or not and then you have to change it to black make sure it you can turn everything into one single color design and if it is not changing anything in your design then your design is a good in a good position you can start the coloring process so first of all is i'm going to ungroup it so that i can simply select the each and every part so these flat colors i will just select them and then I will make it any color I want. So let's make some variation. So prayer prayer one I will make it this color. Then this two I will make it something like this color. So something like this variation here. Nothing else. So these are the three colors I will be using. So maybe this color. Okay let's use that. I am going to keep it red. Then this one I will make it white. This part. I'm going to make it this color so this is the main color combination of my this design or this graphic so here I will select this part I'm going to make it in this color and then these two I will use this color okay so that is the flat color layers it is done now for this area the detailed area okay so the flat part is colored already and for this area the 3d part let's now color them and for this one this outer circle with the brush and the ellipse here so this one i will make it in this color maybe this is the lightest color okay so in this color let's for now let's keep it like that and for this area so you can see this is the this is the hand and the engine part this one and the skull one i want to make this in a similar color so for this i can simply select this part and the coloring process is of course same as before like same as every time nothing changes here so i'm going to first of all take a shape in that color then right click arrange send to back i am using just this shortcut key so this one and then with this one in the back let's select this shape then press shift m so with shift m that means shape builder i am going to erase this part of the graphic and then i don't need this part so that is good let's erase this part and one more thing i need to erase this part so here also now there is some extra area what it needs to be fixed like in this part it should not be visible so i can simply hide that part or erase that part but for now i am not going to do that i will just select this two press shift m to erase this part and then i am going to erase this part so this two is the this two is bigger area so i am going to fix that part but for this small areas i am not going to do i'm just going to keep them as it is that is not really important so here 
okay so as you can see this is how it is looking so i am selecting this shape this red shape here then with my eraser tool i can simply erase it in this way and erasing is easier than using shape builder here because there is a tons of details in the graphic anyway so this is how it is looking and that is good for me i am going to add that color in this area also send that to back and then for this one i am going to use this skull and helmet with that shape let's use the same shape builder tool to erase that part and for this part this tools part i will use it i will use the different color one so cut it then i'm going to press ctrl b okay let's use this color for this one again just same thing i'm going to use shape builder to erase it don't worry about this area it is going to look good so this is how it is looking right now okay so there is maybe a bit problem let's try to fix that so i'm going to first of all select this one then cut it then i'm going to select everything from here then press ctrl b and it is going to paste in the back of everything and this is how it is looking so this is how it is looking it is looking good for now and for this area i will just add that darker color so adding a rectangle sending that back and then i'm going to select this one then press shift m to erase this and it is this is how it is looking right now and that part is done so this is the perfect way of colorizing your vector graphics or your designs if you are using vectors so you can see this is how it is looking and don't worry about this area here is a little problem so the problem is this shape this color shape of that graphic is visible from here i don't want it so let's cut it then selecting this one double click to come inside this group and here press ctrl b so it is going to paste in the background and whatever we pasted inside the transparency of this shape it is going to be applied to that shape also so this is how it is looking and you can see this is how it is done this is how it is working right now and for okay for this two engine area i i want to add that that color because that will make it similar looking like that can be the metal color of this design so for doing that i need to select this group where i can only select this to shape and in this one i am going to add a shape again just in that color cut it i'm going to select it paste it back and then again i'm going to use shape builder to send in the background so that is fine let's select this one and this one then cut it i'm going to come inside this group and here paste in back control b so you can see whatever we pasted here it is already applying to this shape and also for this one i will just use my eraser tool to erase this part of the and that is good okay so this is how it is looking and as you can see this is how you can <coughs> make a graphic like this and it is also okay so for this area the rest of the background i want to add on more thing on more shape that is i realized later so let's try a shape like this let's make it a stroke then change it to this option and with this option i want to press r r means r for reflect and for this one if i just press alt and click here it is going to give me this pop-up box and here i will make it to something like this not 10 maybe 6 to 5 degree then copy and then with that copied let's press ctrl d keep pressing ctrl d and it is going to make some it is going to make some copies for you okay so it can take some time to okay so this is how it is looking now this is my main shape let's 
bring it here i am going to expand it so it becomes fills no stroke anymore let's make it red color so i'm going to place it in a smaller size that is good and here it is a group so i'm going to cut it and then i will do one more thing that is i need to select this ellipse here so i'm going to paste it here then again press shift and click on that shape so this sun and this shape is selected let's click on more time on that and now i can align my sun with that shape let's shift click to deselect that so that i can make it bigger something like this and that is good and for this area here i will select this shape and then press ctrl b so it is going to be pasted just in the background of that shape and everything else is looking good here nothing to worry one more thing that i can do here that is i can simply like this shape is not looking very perfect this chain shape so if i want to fix that this is just to show you guys you can simply do it like this i need to select this chain shape so this is now the only the chain shape is selected let's make it black and then i'm going to ctrl c ctrl b that means copy paste in back and here i will make it merge unite okay sorry sorry so this is not how it is how it should be so i am going to select this shape and then copy this it will it will work don't worry and then press ctrl b to paste in back merge unite and you can see this is how it is feeling so i have two shape here one is this original shape another one is this big shape that is now being created so if i select this two i can press shift m for shape builder to erase this center shape that is going to erase that bigger shape and i have only two shape here so this is the solid shape i want to make it this color and the original shape will remain black so if you can see here so that is the perfect way of colorizing graphics the original shape should be black and then whatever color you want to put that should be the background color so that's it for today's video i hope this will give you some advanced level idea of colorizing your graphics and if it is then let me know in the comment section thank you for watching my videos see you in the next video guys have a great time thank you everyone